For many years, local farmers have been severely affected by pretty larceny and have been crying out for help and protection against this crime which has caused many of them to go out of business. The Ministry of Agriculture has been working tirelessly to combat this issue, recently implementing new measures to help alleviate this problem. Pretty larceny is one of the biggest problems that farmers suffer in Barbados and that is pretty well recognized. Uh, many farms have gone out of business because of severe crop theft. Um, the exercise today is basically to demonstrate uh, one of the necessities by law. The Trespass to Property Reform Act clearly indicates that farmers should have signs on the farm warning persons not to trespass. Once farmers have these signs, then it gives the police more authority to arrest people who are trespassing or loitering on the farm. So that is the point we want to get across this morning, that these signs should be planted on each farm and they should be planted in a location which is near to the normal point of entry of the farm. So we're asking farmers to make these signs, have these signs made and to erect them at the normal point of entry to the farm. And the signs can say, trespassers will be prosecuted or no trespassing so that if people do breach the, these signs and trespass on the farm then the police will have good grounds for arrest and prosecution. The pre Larceny Act makes provision for a certificate of purchase and farmers uh, are currently, a lot of farmers are currently not using these certificates and these certificates should be given, a certificate should be given to the, the purchaser. So once a farmer is selling product, he writes a certificate, keeps a copy for himself, and gives the, ori the, gives the original to the purchaser. If that person is, is questioned by, by any authority, then they can show the certificate as proof of purchase. So it verifies that the person who, is, who has the, the, the produce is legitimate. Uh, this will also help the police, because if you are not in possession of such a certificate, then the police will have grounds for arrest. You may wonder if anyone can just walk into the ministry, whether or not they're a farmer, and be given a certificate book, but that's not the case. Certificate of purchase books will be all numbered and they will be allocated to farmers who are registered with the Ministry of Agriculture. So anybody who is coming to us must be a registered farmer and must have a farmer ID card before they can get these, these books. The Ministry of Agriculture is currently developing a plan of action to deter persons from stealing crops and animals. Within the, this first food zone, we have developed an alliance, a very strong alliance, between the Ministry of Agriculture, the police, the farmers in the area, and Crime Stoppers. And we are working together assiduously to bring this problem to a, to a halt. Um, we have developed this alliance. The police are working very hard in this area. Farmers have actually seen the results of the uh, work that the police is doing. The police are behind this 100%. We expect that just within a few months, uh, we will be opening up another uh, food zone. Um, that will be announced later. But um, this call is not just the people, farmers in the food zone. This call is to all farmers to make sure that the signs are erected on their properties and that they get the certificates of purchase and use them. Um, what they should do is to contact the Ministry of Agriculture. The Ministry is in the process of setting up a pre larceny desk. And you can call the Ministry of Agriculture in order to get these certificates of purchase books. And that will very shortly be implemented. We have books available now, but we know that we will need more because we expect that farmers will be coming to us to get these books. Uh, so that they can comply with the law. And it's very important that they comply with the law because they have to help the Royal Barbados Police Force to help them. And, and so doing, they have to do the right thing by law. Just as the Royal Barbados Police Force is working to combat this type of offence, so too is Crime Stoppers Barbados. Crime Stoppers has a key role in helping alleviate the problem that we are facing as it relates to Pridia Lasny. Um, it's not something that Barbados 
on a whole may be, or the, the population of Barbados may be aware that that reports of predial larceny, theft of crops, etc., can in fact be reported to Crime Stoppers. And that is something which we wish to really sensitize the public that they can use an, our anonymous mechanism to report such activity. As it relates to predial larceny on a whole, um, this is not something new to the Crime Stoppers network. Uh, Crime Stoppers being operational in over 20 countries around the world, uh, several of our programs have worked with their uh, relevant ministries of agriculture and farmers associations. And in particular here in the region in Jamaica, there is um, a, f a very successful program that our Crime Stoppers um, program in Jamaica, along with the farmers associations in Jamaica, have embarked on for several years. And it has yielded great success in terms of reports that have come in, both from in terms of dairy farming, as well as predial larceny, in terms of theft of crops, etc. So we do, as an organization, we do have some sort, some level of experience in working with um, the ministries of agriculture to deal with predial larceny. Crime Stoppers works with agricultural departments throughout the region, so it was no surprise when they decided to join forces with the Ministry of Agriculture here in Barbados. From our end, we would be liaising with the media and we've created somewhat of an advertising campaign which speaks specifically to Pridia Lastly and um, showcasing to the public or those particular ads will showcase to the public that this is in fact a crime, one, and two, the anonymous number of 1-800-8477 can be used to report such activity. So if we cast our minds back in terms of a recent incident that, um, that was publicized in the media where thousands of pounds of uh, sweet potatoes were stolen from a farm. When you really look at that incident, that had to be well orchestrated, a number of persons had to be involved, and it had to be well planned. So in terms of when you look at those types of crimes, people are aware, whether it be a community member, whether it be a family member, or even if it is someone who was part of the crime, people need to be aware that there is an, um, an anonymous mechanism that they can use to call if they know of persons who are involved in orchestrating theft against the farmers because agriculture is key to our economic situation and we as a we as a public need to do what we can it's no longer burying our heads in the sand etc um, so if we are really aware of people who are planning these types of activities um, if you are suspicious here is a number that you can call, here is a mechanism that you can call, and I'd repeat it, 1-800-8477. Farmers across Barbados have been crying out for what many have described as a disease to their sector. Farmer and manager of the St. George Cooperative Society and a member of the first food zone established on the island, Reginald St. Hill has been in the industry for almost 20 years. He is extremely frustrated with pretty larceny, and so are members of his society. I experienced crop theft many times you know hard hit but you know it it would deter some people but i still kept going although you know you get the crop theft it, it didn't really say pre last anymore i would say it is grand theft now the the crop theft is to me is now like a lethal injection to agriculture because you're getting it in livestock both in the vegetable recently we had some our members in the Salters area, they had many nights sleepless due to the fact that their potatoes were being stolen on a nightly basis. You know, the police come and think, but they didn't really catch anyone. Mr. St. Hill said there are a number of changes he would like to see implemented as far as pretty larceny is concerned. To alleviate that, the farmers of them, they have to help themselves. They have to um, let the police know when their crops going to come in that the police can make some routine checks drive bys you know we have to help ourselves first before the police i mean they are short of manpower already but you know it is an effort by the farmer and the police to really come back to try to stamp it out <laughs> i would like to <laughs> say to the farmers don't give up one day you know some of these guys they will find something else to do than, than to really come and take your, your, your produce. It's so hard that when you prepare and pay labor and have all the input and then someone come taking, you know, it's hard. It's very hard.
Errol Thorpe, who has been in the business from 2005, has also experienced problems with theft. Well, I've had problems wearing, uh, before this area here was fenced in, I would get constantly um, theft of thyme, marjoram, parsley, and all of this, like the small crops that were planted. On the cage and on the outskirts, I would get theft of from the, the potatoes and cassada. Since this has been paled in here, I, it seems to me as though the persons can't decide how to get in, so they haven't came in. I have had minimal losses if one look at what, the, what was stolen at that point in time. But the material damage that would have been done was tremendous. I would have had time that was stolen when it was this tall, young, all of it would have been pulled up and all of that. You're talking anything looking like maybe fifteen to $20,000 worth of effort that would have accumulated over a five-year period. And frustrated to the point that, yes, I have even stopped going to the cops, the officers on it, because most of the time they would take you through an inquisition. As to if you saw the time someplace, if you know it is yours, if it has a mark, you know, this kind of baloney. So I was very frustrated. And I have had uh, some very strong language uh, for the law enforcement relative to the scenario because there were occasions that they could have corrected it and they would not. The current security relative to this area here with the soft crops, like I said before, is working perfect. I don't have any problems here now. Here, I'm still having some problems, some small problems. So I'm contemplating on doing some, some more fencing in. I might not do the whole thing like this, but make it quite restricted of you getting in so that it would make it very difficult to get in and out. Both farmers believe that by posting the signs, having the certificate, and with the involvement of Crime Stoppers, we are moving in the right direction to combat pretty old larceny. I love that sign there. Hopefully, as I am being told, signs like that, and not just from you guys, time, signs like that tend to deter persons who might just be walking by. Strongly recommend other farmers to be doing it, and um, hopefully, out of this and some other things that I'm being told is online, you know, maybe we'll get some uh, help. The certificate is a right step because as you, you might not be aware of it, but today there's a number of us that use something. If you want to call a certificate, you can. We use an invoice. You know, you write it up and you give it to persons. Benefit me if, if someone purchases something from me, the person should have that. Two, if they did not purchase it from me and I'm making some kind of charge, one would hope that the person on the receiving end of it would have a certificate to prove where it came from, if not from my farm. The new measures that is implemented now by the Minister of Agriculture with the erection of signs and the certificate on delivery of produce, that will help tremendously. I mean, the police can do their checks any hour, and if you do not have the certificate of purchase where you would have gotten that produce from, they can go and check or take you to where you say you got the produce from and the signs that being erect on the land now you can prosecute somebody for trespassing you don't even have to take anything just trespassing and i feel that that is a, a step in the right direction we're trying to get our members also to have those signs erect on, on, on their farms so that people can see yes it is farmers watch so it, it will come as a deterrent if, even if you enter you don't have anything you're liable to be prosecuted the crane stoppers involved, that is a plus for us in, in, in the farming community. You know, that, that's really a big boost to help deter when you, you know that crane stoppers now involved in helping to stamp out this, you know, this, this terrible disease of causing farmers to go out of business. You know, that's a big plus for us. With the implementation of these new policies by the ministry, along with support from the Royal Barbados Police Force and Crime Stoppers Barbados, it is hoped that pretty larceny will be stamped out and thus lead to improvement in the industry. To find out more information about the no trespassing signs or the certificate of purchase, contact the Ministry of Agriculture at 434-5000. And if you need to report a crime anonymously, you can contact Crime Stoppers Barbados at 1-800-8477. Until next time, I'm Aisha Reed. Thanks for watching.